What is going on you guys? Schoolboy Lou back at it again with another video. Now, Jeff Green has officially said he's not going to return to the Magic this offseason. He's not going to come back with them. And um, that's to be expected, man. The Magic were a very extremely disappointing team. When I seen their team from the beginning of this um, uh, this season, the, from you know when I saw all the signings and all that shit, I was like, damn, man, the Magic, they have a decent squad. They did. They did. Talent was there. It's kind of like Timberwolves, you know, Bucks, all of them in the um, regular season. They all had decent squads, even the Pistons for that matter. All decent squads, Pacers, all, all of them decent squads, but they just didn't fucking play. They didn't play that great like you expected them to play. Like, I thought the East was on, you know, on the rise this season. I really did. The East had a lot of people out there that, you know, a lot of teams that just – look stacked like I thought the Pacers were gonna go higher than six I thought they were gonna go like five four at least you know at least man but no that didn't happen like that and that's fine it's just it makes it where you go, are gonna lose some of that talent next season people are not gonna be happy with not going to a certain level of expectations for your team if your team has this much talent there is a certain expectation that you have to meet within wins at least, or at least making playoffs, at least showing that you are going in the right direction. But when you acquire all this talent and all these people and, you know, you invest a lot and for, for certain people, especially, you know, somebody like Jeff Green who's been in, you know, the league a long time, he knows where something is going on. You know, when you just don't, your team doesn't get better, especially throughout the season, especially, that's when your team should get better, then – you got to find something else to do. And Josh, I mean, Jeff Green was just not ha happy with that. He was like, I'm fucking gone. I'm out of here. Now, the question is, where is he going to lie at? Lie at? I don't know why I've been fucking saying that. Lie at? Where is he going to go? <laughs> where is he going to go? Um, Me? I'm not sure. I, if I had to say some guesses, I would have to say somebody like the Clippers. You know, a lot of players have come to the Clippers like Paul Pierce because they played for – um. Doc Rivers, they understand, and a lot of people respect his game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Jeff Green go to the Clippers, um, sign to like a veteran contract. He probably might not want that. It really depends on what he wants as a player. If he still thinks that he's worth that high ass money, then that's what he's going to get from a probably a suckier team. From a better team, they're going to give him less. They're going to give him less because he's a sacrifice. You know, he has a sacrifice for all the other people on that team, especially with Blake and Chris Paul. If you essentially want to keep both of those guys, you got to give them both max money, all right? Um, maybe not Chris Paul, just because you want to, you know, ask him if he wants to take that, but Blake is going to ask for max money, of course. They're both worth max money. Chris Paul still, obviously. So, um, Jeff Green, I wouldn't be surprised seeing him there. It would be cool if Jeff Green came back to the Celtics, of course. That would be cool as well. Um, there's a lot of different situations where... Um, where I think, you know, Jeff Green can go. You know, even a suckier team. Like, you know where else he can go? The Jazz. The Jazz is not too bad for him. You know, they they have a lot of older guys over there trying to do, like, the Spurs way. But that's a good way. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below. That's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Quality upgrade coming soon. Subscribe.